Which is why every citizen will find a complimentary government-issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Get to spraying, America! Let's heat this mother up! This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Oh, sorry, little buddy in chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. The internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Biv. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or whom? We're detectives, Sam, not mind readers! Hey, maybe we should ask you Bliss! Mind readers, that's it! No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, the Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? Colors. No. Think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this morning. That's it. Morning. In the ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalahotek tribe of the Serengeti, our word morning means he who destroys the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Biv is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... It's the Commissioner. The Commissioner? I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Never! What? Oh, no, Commissioner. I didn't mean... Look, I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Stat! By the Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The Commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat, the Blister of Tranquility. Oh boy! I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines! Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon! Feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time, too. We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left. You always did know how not to infringe on a registered trademark, little buddy. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the blister of tranquility, find out what you bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Is that a visitor center? Hey guys, it's Kai Jim, and we're back to Let's Play Seven Max Season One. This is Episode Six, Bright Side of the Moon. Or if I misread that, I don't give a damn. It's been a while since I actually made a video. School has been told a bitch. Now, before I start, like I want to let y'all know that I do actually read the comments because I have so less, and I noticed that many comment, like man, many, like a few comment on my cursing. And I want you to know that I don't do that on purpose, it's just a force of habit for me. Like, I don't really know where I got it from, but it does. It just happens. And also, a shout out to uh, Anico Films, who actually stuck by me all the way. And I'm sorry, man, for uh, taking so long. But here it is, man. Hope, hope you enjoy it. So let's get on with this. First, let's see the American flag. How does it do that when there's no wind on the moon? Cosmic winds. Nix, Nixon, Agnew, 68. Ag, Ag, oh, Agnew. Somebody oh, left yeah, a yeah, footprint yeah. here in the dust. My foot's bigger! Oh, you just ruined that? I just, I just realized who Agnew was, but I don't mind that. She's just up to Earth. So beautiful and so cartoon. It looks cleaner from far away. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, look, it's Harry, a.k.a. the well, whatever well. the fuck his name is. Aren't you Teddy Bear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once upon a time, but no longer. Now. Who are you now? I've gone back to being Harry Mole Man. Or should I say I've gone forward? Prismatology has helped me find a new me where the old one used to be. Are you still a notorious criminal? Or an obscure one, like Kevin Mitnick. No, I've repostulated my lemma since Prismatology found me. 
It's the straight and narrow for Harry Mole Man from here on out. Sure as a circle. You seem shorter than you used to. I used to use that exoskeleton, but prismatology has taught me that size doesn't matter. Color does! Harry Mole Man will never be sensitive about being diminutive again. Or about referring to himself in the third person, apparently. Didn't you explode? Only in the spiritual sense. Prismatology helped me put Harry Mole Man back together again. Looks like it may have left out a few pieces by mistake. Well, I guess it's nice to see you again. Actually, I'm still a little sore that he tried to get you to shoot me last time we saw him. I'm channeling my saturation towards making amends for my past transgressions. Prismatology has taught yeah, me- Yeah, yeah, we get it. Whoa, I thought I finished all the conversations. <sighs> Which way to the blister of tranquility? Enlightenment is the only way to reach the blister of tranquility. How about we enlighten your skull a little? Would that work? The blister is through that little box right over there. That works. Seen Hugh Bliss around here lately? To see the master, I need only search my heart. I meant see him in the traditional fashion. No, he's usually in the blister these days. See you later. We've got important sightseeing to do. Great! For sure. There's all this crap. So I'm moving. Hey, 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 that's a t-shirt. Hey, hey. Oh, okay, there we go. Lovely shirt. Can I get one, Sam? Can I, can I, can I, can I? You don't wear shirts, Max. I can still accumulate them, can't I? It looks like cheap touristy crap is the same everywhere in the solar system. Can we get some cheap touristy crap, Sam? No. What's supposed to go here? These hypnotic goggles were an early prototype of the hypnobeam technology currently being used to further the worldwide goals of prismatology. Wow! Invisible goggles! The goggles were stolen a few months ago. Honestly, some people will take anything that's not bolted to the floor. Sound familiar, anybody? <laughs> What's this? Looks like a bent spoon with some peanut butter on it. The power to bend and rebend spoons stored within this completely indestructible magical talisman was among the first mental abilities to be developed and popularized by Hugh Bliss. Big deal. I can bend spoons with my bare hands. One question. Would it work on wrenches? Hmm. Yeah, a wrench is close enough. Interesting, interesting. Ah, you made me forget where I was. Let's see. Uh, indestructible magical talisman. Oh, yeah. The virtually indestructible display case is a triumph of modern prismatological science. Virtually indestructible? Extensive testing has been done on the case, showing it to be impervious to bullets, acid, high falls, crushing force, sonic weaponry, diamond tip drills, hurricanes, poisons, cynicism, and liquid nitrogen. Don't touch it. You might break it. Oops. It's not held down very securely. Smile now. Ooh, chart. Nice What's plan. with the chart? I bet it shows how Justin Timberlake is descended from the moon people. This chart outlines Hugh Bliss's ingenious master plan to hypnotize everyone on Earth through connections with the U.S. government, the Internet, and the Toy Mafia. Well, I was close. Weren't you in charge of the Toy Mafia? You're right, I was. I wonder why I didn't know anything about this at the time. Is you a fucking moron? Let's try to leave. Yeah, my, um, display case. It's got a magic spoon bending thingy trapped inside it. It's jam. One moment, please. Hey. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. Of course. Oh, -ho! what's this? I knew you were up to something. Ruining my career with the Toy Mafia wasn't enough. Now you want to cost me this job, too? What if we do? It must have fallen into my pocket while I was looking at your beautiful ceiling architecture. What, Mafia? Don't try that again, or I'll have to get ugly. I guess a lot of people have done it already. Yes, but I always... Hey! Snap. Alright, man, it's on. I'm gonna take that even without you knowing. First, get It really ready. should work on securing this thing better. Now... Max, come here. Come here, Max. Here, Max, hold this. Oh. I meant in your hands, but whatever. For sure, retrieve, bud. One moment, please. Hey, hey, 
Naughty spot. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no. Hey, Max, come back here. Uh, Could I have that display case you ate? Can you wait 12 to 72 hours? I'd rather not. What was I supposed to do with them? Make them... Oh, yeah, man. First, this. Oh, look, there's a slightly beat up robotic exoskeleton in the trash. The past is only useful as fertilizer for the future. Hugh Bliss said that. Hugh Bliss is a joke. I think that's a satellite. Oh, really? I thought it was like a, a pterodactyl looking over the moon. No parking between the hours of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. No comment. Hey, shoot ball! Hey, small worlds. It's our favorite cabinet secretary and secret service man, Agent Superball. Favorite? That'd be like choosing a favorite child, Sam. I love them all. Didn't I see you last week beating the Secretary of Defense over the head with his own war agenda? Granted, it's a tough love. Greetings, newcomers. Blessed be. Let me open my bag of M&Ms first. Cause I don't give a damn if you hear me eat or not. I love you guys. Normal. Let's see what Super Bowl is up to. So let me guess. You're guarding the door to this retreat. Affirmative. I have a passion for it, sir. And Hugh Bliss believed in my door guarding abilities when no one else would. Great story, great story. Okay, let us in. Negative. Only level red prismatologists may enter Hugh Bliss's magical paradise. What's a level red prismatologist? Because I'm pretty sure I am one. Level red is apex of prismatology, sir. You'd have to undergo spectrum analysis to determine your current level. Spectrum analysis? Is that where you lie perfectly still in a lead coffin while brightly colored cotton swabs are inserted into various orifices? No, sir. We gave that up in 87. It's much simpler now. Delicious. I. I shot a spectrum and la 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 la. Yep, we're level red. Let us in. I'm sure you're mistaken, but we'll run the spectrum analysis anyway. Take this. A unicorn? What am I supposed to do with this? Rub it, sir. Rub it, Sam. Harder. Harder. I'm sorry, sir. The unicorn says you're yellow. No one calls us yeller! Draw, partner! Level yellow is frankly rather pathetic, sir. Only level reds may enter the retreat. Regulations? Hmm. However, Hugh Bliss would like you to keep the unicorn as a token of his love. Rub it often to measure your progress towards true bliss. Oh boy, a pet unicorn! I shall call him horny. You do that. Very subtle with that joke. I don't want to say that. You're studying this prismatology too? Not studying. I've mastered it. You mastered prismatology by standing in front of a door? I am one with the door. We exist in the indigo wavelength of reality. The door is an illusion. My fizzing. This prismatology nonsense really works for you? That's right. Happiest I've ever been. Hugh Bliss is great. I'm sorry. I'm gushing. President Max requires an audience with you, Bliss. I can't let just anyone into the retreat. Orders? Well, as your president, here's your new order. Move it! I'm now a citizen of Bliss, sir. I can't let you in. You're fired. What about loyalty to your president? Let us in. Hugh Bliss showed me the folly of independent nations. Plus, the benefits are better. Full medical and dental. Fine. So long, Super Bowl. Be that way. Sorry guys, for more than my contacts were going through weird. I'm tripping out. Alright, fuck it. We can't do anything more with the moon. So let's jam. Where are we headed now, Sam? Back home. Terra firma. You know on the moon you can't really hear anything because there's no particles for sound to vibrate through. This one lets you know. Oh, boxing. Liver and onions have been headed towards a nasty breakup for years. My first century boxing celery exploitation. I'm just guessing this is boxing. 